Now, as a final question, what what would you recommend to to financial planners and CPAs and lawyers who are working with business owner clients about when they should be advising clients to start addressing these issues to understand what the value of their company is and start making plans either for business succession or estate planning or you know if, if things were to happen disability or death uh, just how do you want how should they try to move people forward on this this front that's a good question uh, most businesses business owners uh, are in the business because uh, they see an, they saw an opportunity and they want to make money I mean if you talk to any business owner you ask them why did you know why did, why did you start a computer company rather than go work for IBM or somebody else and they'd say well I want to make money I want to do it my way and and that was great because that probably created the cash flow we're looking at it created a lot of growth but it's and it also has got uh, as I said it's a, earlier, it, these are private businesses, and so they're things that are not really transparent because it never needed to be. So as the business grows with the owner, that this issue of transparency becomes much more important. So I think from, uh, for financial planners and accountants, what they should be encouraging their business owners to do is first make the business more transparent because, even, and, because that's going to actually increase the value of the business even if you, if you sell it two or three years down the road. Uh, doing the valuation now, being, being prepared for it now, uh, is, puts you in a much better position down the road. L let me give you an example. Let's say for the moment you're a 52 or 53 year old male or female, owns a very, very successful business, and you're thinking at one, at one time or another, you, you don't want to get out of the business, but let's say for an example, you want to do uh, 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 an ESOP, a uh, ploy stock option uh, uh, program. And which requires evaluation. So, or you might even want to do a transaction, but let's say you don't. And so, at that particular point, you want to value the you want to value the business at the time you want to do the ESOP. But it turns out that in an ESOP, the employees buy part of the business from you. So, what they want to see, in fact, what the Bureau of Labor, uh, Department of Labor requires, is they want to see a transparent business because they want to know what it is that they're actually buying. Now, one year of transparency is good. Two years is better. Five years is best. And because if the business is open and transparent, then the employees, in this particular example, are likely to pay more money for it because they really do understand the nature of the business. Not the employees as a group, but their agents. Uh, and so here's an example where even though I might not sell the business, I want to prepare it for some eventual transaction. The other aspect is, and this is where business owners really, I think, get uh, uh, confused. It creates a lot of angst for them is when all of a sudden somebody comes, knocks on the door and says, you know what, I want to buy your business. And they're not ready to, ha they don't have any context for what the business is worth. Uh, three years ago, there was uh, uh, large insurance companies were buying up uh, insurance agencies, which are very local. They'd walk in and say, we'll offer you X for your business. And the, the owner of the insurance agency had no context for this, wasn't prepared. So getting the valuation that prepares you for the eventuality of of somebody coming in unexpectedly and saying I want to buy the business and that often happens in a lot of industries where they have there's growth potential or some growth potential but it's fragmented and there's some reason why a big player might come in and kind of roll up all the smaller players you should be prepared for that uh, even if you're not going to transact the business in a five-year period if you say it's part of your estate plan you're going to give it to your children it even pays then to kind of think about the business in a, uh, from a uh, transparency perspective because it's going to increase the value to those kids when they get it. Now, what does that mean? It may turn out that your children may want to sell the business or they might have refinanced the business or whatever that's going to require a, a, a loan of some sort or maybe they want to bring in other investors into the business subsequent to you departing and having the business a, as a fully transparent entity will increase the value, and in the end, will actually help the business grow. Well, thank you, Stan, for joining us today and providing with this very useful discussion of business valuation issues for CPAs, financial advisors, and lawyers. Oh, thank you. It's been a pleasure being here. We'd like to thank Dr. Feldman for his time and for the information provided. And thank you all for joining us.